Alright, so this is quite possibly going to be one of the stupidest videos I have ever made, so just be prepared for that. Why I'm doing it, I have no fucking idea. I was just really wanted to do it, so, uh, here goes! So I got this idea when I was looking at the, uh, the, the Go Na Guy wiki the other day when I recorded the Violence Jack video, and I remembered I saw this, and this was one of the stupidest wikis I've ever seen. This isn't the Go Na Guy wiki, obviously, this is the YouTube Poop wiki, which is one of the most autistic wikis I have ever read, so be prepared for some really fucking stupid shit. So today, we're gonna be looking at Spinge Bill. So, uh, here's, here's the, uh, backstory to him. Spinge Bill Box Pants is the main protagonist of the Spinge Bill YouTube poops. He is a creepier version of SpongeBob SquarePants. He originally appeared in Santa with Teeth's videos. He is known to be gay, obsessed with his dick, and poisoning drinks. Actually, he is the most traumatic character in the YouTube poop. Because if you look at his eyes, you will be petrified with fear. He is a nasty fuck. <laughs> Here's his real history. In 2009, Santa with Teeth made some Spongebob poops until Viacom striked him with lawsuits. So Santa with Teeth, Teeth came up with the name Spingebill as a non-copyrighted name. Since then, many YouTube poopers have used the name Spingebill in their videos in order to help him prevent possible copyright strikes. Now here's his YouTube poop history. Spingebill is similar to Spongebob, but he happens to be seen in the YouTube poops. According to Urban Dictionary, he is a YouTube poop version of Spongebob who hangs out with Potrick, Mr. Crustacean, and Squishward. While the version of Spongebill happens, happens to be seen as a creation of Awful the Falafel, he was actually made by Santa with teeth. Again, according to Urban Dictionary. He also harbors a crack addiction and is seen using the drug many times throughout the videos he appears in. Previously, on his boat to Akela, with his water helmet, Spingebill and Squishward discover a Walmer. What the fuck is a Walmer? A Whalmer? What is a Whalmer? Trapped in the rocks by an angry Viacom Bruxish, which is later revealed to be the cruel veterinarian responsible for trapping Walmer. Spingebill, Patrick, Mr. Crustacean, and Squishward work together to drive Viacom Bruxish off and get Walmer free. And when it starts to sink, Scodward comes to the rescue, floating it up to the surface with his impressive testicles. <laughs> That's right, Ouija and the Illuminati hosts everyone, everyone at the Guinea Space Center, and there were more bizarre YouTube poop adventures for him. Personality. He likes messing around with, especially killing, his friends. And he can't take no for an answer. His friends are, Sco are Scodward, Squidward, Rick Pat, Patrick, more crabs, Mr. Krabs, hate each other. Uh, so his friends, his friends, Scodward, Rick Pat, and more crabs hate each other, and Spingebill himself, and love fighting for survival. His enemies, Prankton, K4N, also hate each other. Sandy, Sandy, also takes wild risks in her life. In one YouTube poop, Spingebill gets fired from the KKK, and Scottward fails his job completely. He's also a yellow cock. <laughs> Alright, then there's all the trivia. He once gave Squishward a embryo approximately five to six weeks old for freaking Valentine's Day. Squishward responded by staring at it and then ripping it in half. He has powers like Scottward. He originated in YouTube poop, while Scottward and Moorcrabs originated in the original series. What? the fuck do they mean originated in the original series? I don't get it. Um, he looks equal to Spongebob. The only difference is his black and morbid eyes and his pallid skin. Spongebob was his brother, but Spongebill hates him for unknown, reads, unknown reasons. Spinglebab is also his brother. We'll take a look at Sponge, uh, Spongebob and Spinglebab in a second, but uh, he and Scottward have never been seen before. What? But he had already seen more, more crabs and fuzzy and fizzy walnuts. He dodged the Viacom, Viacom Quarry eels, just like Rainbow Dash. Ugh, fucking ponies. Ugh, fucking hate my little pony. Anyway, just, just did the original Quarry eels on which the Viacom Quarry eels were cloned from. Spingebill appears... That is not how you spell appears. In the YouTube video, Squidward Goes to the Future. This is Spingebill's most villainous appearance due to hurting Squidward's... Due to hurting Squidweirds for nail while moving a couch, I, I'm pretty sure that means toenail, but it got autocorrected to four. Death. Spingebill died while being blown up in a minefield during his bloody fight with Ouija. The reason he could not get 
he could not see the minefield was because it was raining shit. Like it always does in the Ouija Empire. Ouija mourned him for five minutes and buried his body in the ground and Spongebill died forever. Or is it? <sighs> Here's his likes. He likes evil, Spongebob Squarepants, Fizzy Walnuts, more crabs, Squ Scodward, Scodward Squad, Destroying the Universe of YouTube Poop, Gygus, Spongebob Pearl Gnectric Puff, what the fuck is that? Sp Spliffword, Mr. Crack, I know that one, that's a, that's a fan-created character from uh, Sp Spongebong Hemp Pants. He dislikes Prankton, Viacom, Ouija, Lameton, K4N, K4RN 2.0, Wallio, Sp Spongebab, UNSC, and Justin Bieber. His friends are More Crabs, Fizzy Walnuts, Wormy, Mr. Craps, Pearl Craps, Stinky Cheeks, and Rick Pat. Alright, well, let's take a look at, uh, at, uh, Spongebab. Alright, here's, uh, here's good old Spongebab. Spongebab lived inside your nightmares. Be afraid. He was a member of Scottward Squad and was the first one to face Ouija's wrath. He was created by Squidward Tentacles, along with the rest of Scottward Squad, to destroy Ouija. Personality. He was a sly, creepy stalking monster that hid in the trees and killed unsuspecting Bikini Bottomites. He was mostly insane with a dab of crazy. He likes killing, Scodward, other Scodward squad members, and the Bong Bong Gang. He dislikes Ouija, Malio, Walio, Wawa Ouija, Spongebob, and Scumbob. Alright, now we'll look at Spingleblab. Spingleblab, as the name says, is yet another clone of Spongebob Squarepants. He worked at the Rusty Crap until he was fired because Mr. Krabs wanted to save a nickel, or possibly even less. History. Spingleblab was born in Bikini Bottom on August 10th, 2012. At this time, his brothers were, Sp were Spongebob, Spingebill, and Spongebab. God, this is fucking autistic as hell to read. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, the result was... <laughs> the result of the war caused them to split up, and to be safe, Spingleblab took the path leading into the woods straight to a factory where he slept on a conveyor belt, which resulted in his body being destroyed and ripped apart. Patrigi later found him and made him into an indestructible robot and later made him full of cy and later made him a full cyborg not that one oh okay I, I get just cyborg he died on October 27th 2019 in the future after getting blown up by a tank well, there you go this is a uh, this is important information uh, trivia he appeared in a vine sauce stream once well there you go as such he is also called Spindleburb and Spurlbab. oh my god why am I doing this? Um, let's take a quick look at, uh, let's look at Scumbob. What's Scumbob? Scumbob Snare Pants. Oh boy, this is, uh, this is a little bit of a, yeah, there we go. Scumbob Snare Pants, sometimes also known as Dank Bob, is the evil and alternate version of SpongeBob SquarePants. He took over the show during season six to eight. He romantically harasses Slickward Tentacles and has a romantic late and has a romantic relationship with Pat Jerk Star. He lives in New Bikini Bottom. He is the main antagonist of the Recenter seasons. He is a member of Evil. About. Scumbob altered places with Spongebob in various episodes from seasons four to five, but some viewers believe he was around during the first three seasons, like Spongebob when he cares about his friends. At least he pretends to. He cries whenever things go wrong, and he only cares about himself. His best friend is Pat Jerk, Scumbob causes some problems for others, and he annoys people on purpose. Starting in Season 9 and a few Season 8 episodes, Nick required Scumbob and Spongebob to alternate places like in Seasons 4 to 5. People have way too much fucking time on their hands when they write this kind of shit. You know what I mean? Like, who comes up with these elaborate backstories for YouTube poop characters of all things? I mean, this is dedication right here. That's, that's why I found this so interesting, is it's fucking retarded as hell. Like, look at this. Species, sponge, age, ageless, power level, over 9,000, because fucking of course it is. But, uh, friends, Link and Lewd, I'm assuming that's a Loud House parody. Bid membrane, okay, yeah, see, these are, uh, these are all Nickelodeon show references. He's friends with Viacom, though, and the Illuminati, as well as Stimp, Stamp, Stampy the Snail? Who the fuck is Stampy the Snail? Well, there you go, that's Stampy the Snail, we're not gonna look too into him. But, uh, <laughs> I think that's enough of this. You get the idea. This wiki is one of the most interesting things I've ever seen. Like, uh, you get shit like, uh, 
Michael Rosen. I love Michael Rosen. There you go. There's a whole page dedicated to Michael Rosen. Apparently, Michael Rosen liked Krabby Patties, though, so there you go. But, um, yeah, the, uh, the YouTube poop wiki is one of the stupidest things I've ever seen, and that is why I love it and had to make a video about it. So, anyway, this has been Fugitive Red Eye, and you have a great rest of the day. Subscribe to Fugitive Red Eye.